Hey everyone, my name is Paul Vichelski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. In today's real estate exam prep video, we're going to discuss calculating the net operating income or sometimes referred to as an NOI. It's very important that you have to know this for your real estate licensing exam because it is uh, for two reasons. Number one, it really is the this formula is the part of the formula for the um, foundation for analyzing investment properties. And number two is the net operating income or that NOI is one of the three key values that we need for the capitalization formula. And I did a previous video on how to calculate or use that capitalization formula. I'm going to Put a link right up here in the upper right hand corner. I highly suggest that you at some point take a look at that because this builds into that. You have to know how to calculate that net operating income and it's pretty easy to do. And as you can see, I have the, uh, the capitalization formula on your screen, which is the net operating income or the NOI divided by rate equals value. And again, Check out the video in the upper right hand corner. All right, so let's kind of go over how we calculate this net operating income. Number one is there are basically five steps to get to what we need. Number one is we take the potential gross income of this property. And what I mean by that is assuming that all 50 bays in the or all 50 bays in this strip mall or all 50 apartments in this apartment community assuming that every single unit is rented for the entire 12 months that gives us the potential gross income again there's an assumption that all units have been rented for the full 12 months that's the potential gross income or what we call the PGI then we have to subtract the actual vacancy losses or collection losses. If we have a 50 unit bay or 50, 50 unit apartment community and 10 of those units uh, weren't rented, that's a collection loss. We weren't collecting any revenue. So we take the potential gross income, we subtract the vacancy loss, that gives us what's called the effective gross income. Then we take the effective gross income in step four and we subtract our operating expenses. Now, operating expenses are simply those expenses that we incur to run our business. Things like uh, our rent, renting our office, salaries for employees, insurance, benefits, utilities, property taxes, vehicles, all of those things are considered operating expenses. We take the effective gross income, we subtract the operating expense. That gives us our net operating income, or what we call the NOI. That's that key calculation that we need for the capitalization formula. Now, notice on your screen there, I have in parentheses, it's annual. Every one of these values here are annualized. All right, potential gross income is the annual potential gross income, the annual vacancy loss, uh, the annual operating expenses. So just right. remember that when you're calculating the NOI, it's annualized. Now, notice on your screen, uh, for, for most of you people, for those taking the salesperson's exam and most exams, you can stop at step five. But every once in a while, depending on which, which test testing company uh, is providing your, your real estate exam, they'll ask for six and seven. And so, particularly in the broker's exam. So, if they wanna know how to calculate the before tax cash flow, this is how you do it. You do it the exact same way that you did your NOI, but we're just gonna add step six, which is we take the net annual operating income and we subtract the annual debt service, and that gives us our annual before tax cash flow. It's really that simple. And I've had a couple of students say that uh, they have, they've had this particular question on their broker's exam. So I wanted to make sure that I included that in this video. All right, let's kind of put this to practical use here. So let's figure out our net annual operating income. So we have the potential gross income. And here's our example. We have 20 units at $500 a month. So we take 20 units, we multiply that by $500 a month rent, that's the income, 
and then we multiply it again by 12, representing 12 months. When we do that, that gives us a potential gross income of $120,000. Now remember, that's annual. That's an annual income. Step two, we, we subtract the vacancy loss or collection losses. And in our example, let's say that this particular 20 unit apartment community had a 10% vacancy. And remember that's annualized. That equals $12,000. So we have to take 120,000 and subtract 12,000. And that gives us what's called that effective gross income of $108,000. We take our effective gross income and we subtract the operating expenses. And again, that's annualized, our annual operating expense. And in our example, uh, we have an annual operating expense of $50,000. So we take our effective gross in income of 108,000, we subtract the 50,000, and that gives us our net operating income of $58,000. Now for most of us, and most of our problems that we're gonna get on our exam, we can stop right there and plug in that $58,000 into the capitalization formula. However, for those maybe broker candidates that they wanna know the before tax, we have to, we'll just continue on, we'll take our net operating income, subtract the annual debt service, and in our example, it, they, it gives $3,000 a month for our debt service, but remember it's annualized, so we're gonna have to take that 3,000 and multiply it by 12 months. That gives us $36,000, so we take our NOI of 58,000 minus our debt service of 36, and that gives us our before tax cash flow of $22,000. Now, another thing I put on here is every once in a while, and I mostly seen this with the AMP test. The before tax cash flow is sometimes known as a cash throw off. I don't know why, but I wanted to let you know uh, that as well. Okay, if you're gonna continue studying for real estate exam, check out this real estate math exam problem. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click the little circle right there. Comments and questions down below. See y'all in the next video.